Emma, the guests are here. Everyone's been asking about you. Come on, this charity event was your idea, remember? Go away! I never want to see another man for as long as I live! What did Hank do now? Um, Hank was last month, Mr. Thorndyke. She's upset about Evan Richmond. Do I know Evan Richmond? It's the young man Emma's been seeing for the last three weeks. We just broke up over Twitter! What? Why? I mean, you're for it and he's against it? Oh, Dad, you're so clueless! I think she means on Twitter, you know, through text messages. Oh. What kind of relationship is that? One that doesn't exist anymore. Look, well, sweetie, come on. Whoever this Evan guy is, he's, a, he's an idiot. We all love you. Please join us. Do whatever you have to do to make her come downstairs. She has got to make an appearance, <laughs> all right? I'll try, Mr. Thorndyke. Emma, your father's gone. Can I come in, please? <laughs> hey, Stan, you made it. Samantha, thanks for bringing them. This is a really good cause. You know, I mean, a healthy body leads to a healthy life. That's what they tell me. And look, genuine yoga goats. I mean, who can resist them? <laughs> hey, folks, the uh, demonstration is about to get underway. But I also wanted to remind you, we're raising funds tonight for the upcoming marathon. Running! with goats. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> Jen, why do guys stink? Because mm, most of them don't shower enough. <laughs> How could he say that I'm shallow and not independent? <clears throat> Babe, you're 27 and you're still living in your father's house. You're taking his side? No, I um, never really liked Evan or Hank or Gary. Gary, for that matter. <laughs> so you're saying I've got bad taste in men. Great. You just, you choose style over substance. It's my mother's fault. Emma, she's passed away 13 years ago now. Yeah, and if she hadn't, she could have given me advice on men. I mean, it's a minefield out there. And every guy I seem to meet is like a grenade. They pull their pins out and they explode. That sums up the opposite sex quite accurately. I'm done. I'm gonna run away and join the convent. Okay, but before you do, can you go downstairs and greet the guests? Remember, PR means public relations. That only works if you can relate to the public. Public? A bunch of overweight blimps pretending to support physical education when their belts can't even support their bellies? No thanks. There are some also very in shape, hot personal trainers and athletes and some really adorable baby goats. And thanks to you, I'm gonna be hoovering up goat hair for, I don't know, days, maybe weeks. Evan was right. My life is pointless. He's wrong. I may be your dad's PA, but I'm also your best friend. Yeah, and what does that say about me? It says you need to stop feeling sorry for yourself, go downstairs, or I'm gonna slap you in your face, and it's gonna hurt. Fine, I mean, Fine, I'm gonna give it five minutes. Okay, just give me a second to make myself have this again. Aha, uh -huh. and here she is. Your co-host for this evening and uh, the love of my life, my daughter, Emma. Now let's get this party really started. Five minutes, Dad. What? Mm -hmm. Come on, these are some wonderful people. I mean, this young man here, I met him at the athletic club. You haven't even seen the goats. You look great. Enjoy yourself. Well, of course I've been to Wimbledon numerous times. I just finished up the tournament in Dallas. Won. 14. Love. Are you a tennis player? Uh, that is my racket. I'm Emma Thorndike. Oh, 
your father invited me here to give tips on how to stay in shape. Oh, please, tell me more. I'd be happy to. Here we go again. So are you Italian? Si. Oh, I do. My name is Nick Milano. Please, call me Nick. I just finished the tour of the US. How did you win? I rarely lose. But for me, it's not about the outcome. It's the playing of the game that matters. Therein lies the fun, the challenge. Oh, I like games. I could tell that the moment I saw you. I said to myself, now here's a woman who could teach me a thing or two. Oh, well, I know very little about tennis. Oh, it's not too difficult. First, there is your stance. The way the player stands before hitting the ball, you have closed stance, mm -hmm. neutral stance, semi-open stance, okay. and open. Oh, open works for me. Next, your grip is very important. Oh. There are many techniques here. Okay. Western grip. Eastern grip, continental grip. Let's go for continental. Mm -hmm. Next, you need to hit the ball on the sweet spot. That's uh, the center of the racket. Oh. I always aim for the sweet spot. Then, there is the stroke when you hit the ball. Hard? Always hard. It is what makes me a particularly good server. Well, if you're the server, then what does that make me? The receiver, of course. And how long does that go on for? Until you've love set. Oh, I would like the sound of that. But, uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, I have to leave tomorrow back to Roma. The life of a professional sportsman. What do you do, Emma? Oh, I keep busy too. Um, helping my father and organizing events like this one. That's wonderful. Oh, you're wonderful. Coming here for such a good cause. Perhaps one day you and I can play a round together. Oh, I'd mm. love to play around with you, Nick. Until then. Mm -hmm. Game mm -hmm. set. Oh. I'm telling you, Jenny, this is the real thing. Nick is the one. You've just met him? Yeah. Haven't you ever heard of a love at first sight? Yeah. With your checks in the mail and I'll still respect you in the morning. Mm -mm, you're wrong. You didn't see the way he looked at me. It was a real connection. And he said he'd love to see me again. I'm going to surprise him and show all my stupid exes and my father that I can be my own independent woman. Come on, Jenny, please, I need your support on this one. Okay, what are you gonna tell your father? Oh, nothing. I do not want him to know where I am or what I'm doing. Nick and I are gonna be completely self-sufficient. On your father's credit card? No, Jenny, I have my own credit cards. That he gets the statements to monthly. Right, I'll just bring cash. should be enough for a week or so, right? Oh, and you, you, you don't believe in banks? Oh, there's plenty, plenty more in the bank. This is just my bank money. Matt is right. You can't go around with that much cash on you. There are muggers everywhere. Good call. Emma, you, uh, just take one credit card in case of emergencies. Okay. I really hope you know what you're doing. I've never been so certain about anything in my life. That's actually a scary thought. <laughs> Your dad's really gonna miss you, you know. I'll contact him once Nick and I are happily married. Like, my dad may be rich, Jenny, but he's lonely. Having all the money in the world without anyone to share with is just not for me. I need love in my life. I need Nick. I just hope Nick needs you too. You know, I think he does. Mm. A 
Okay, I can do this. It's the first day of my new life in one of the most romantic places in the world. I don't mean this place. I mean out there, in Rome. Excuse me, do you speak English? Uh, non, mais je comprends English. My luggage is missing, it never got off the plane. And ah. all my things are in it. Um, can you please help me? Ah, mais faut aller au Lost and Found. Objet trouvé là-bas. Objet trouvé. What? Lost and Found. You must go to Lost and Found. Ah. Just a minute, I'm almost done. I want to speak to your supervisor. No, you don't. He's a jerk. I'll be the judge of that. Where is he? I'm the supervisor. What seems to be the problem? I've been waiting here for over 40 minutes. I've been working here for over four years, but you don't see me complaining. My luggage is missing. Oh, really? When's the last time you saw it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe when it was loaded onto your stupid, overcrowded plane that served stale pretzels. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Uh, what's the name? Emma Thorndike. Ooh, sounds painful. Look, you lost my luggage and I demand you to find it. That is your job, is it not? Uh, only on the weekdays. Buongiorno. Ciao, Russell. Hello, miss. Can I be of service? Oh, I hope so. Uh, this is uh, Alex, our uh, best employee here. Well, our uh, only employee. He, this is a, a small airport. Big enough to lose my luggage. <laughs> Can you describe the missing luggage? Yes. So it's a large pink suitcase with flowers and cats all over it. Real ones? Customs might have an issue with that. Pictures. And don't judge me. My mother gave me that suitcase when I was 12. It has great sentimental value. I understand. You are American, no? Mm, I live in California. Flight 232 from LAX. 232. Got it. We will locate your suitcase in a day or two. Wait, are you kidding? What am I supposed to do until then? All my clothes and personal belongings are in that bag. Uh, the airline is very sorry for the inconvenience this is causing you, so we'd like to offer you this. Well, what is it? Well, this is a uh, little travel package. We have a comb here, a little toothbrush with some toothpaste for those pearly whites. Little uh, thing, you know, if you want your beauty sleep. And this wonderful unisex t-shirt. No, no, that's it. I want to speak to your superior. Everyone's superior to Russell. Don't mind him. I will find your suitcase. I promise. Fine. But all my money is in that suitcase. Hmm. The ticket cost me $942. The bag fee was $50. I bought some water in the terminal, so I'm broke. I've got $3 to my name. Which is Emma, by the way. Oh, uh, Alessandro. Alex. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> I'm not. Well, I would be under different circumstances. Understood. Do you have uh, uh, credit cards? Oh, just the one, but I can only use it in case of an emergency. You know, some people might think this situation is an emergency. Mm -mm, not me, because you're going to fix it. You promised. Uh, do you have uh, any family members? No, no family. It's just me now. I'm relying on you. My life is in your hands. <laughs> so let, let me think uh, one second. Uh... Idea, maybe I know someone who can help you. Temporarily. Great. Well, then let's go. I hate airports. Uh, this is why I'm not nice to customers. Just saying. Stay zitto. Dammi le chiavi. The Colosseum? So, first time in Rome? Yeah. Do you know a guy called Nick Milano? He's a famous tennis player. I can say I do because I don't. Is your friend? Mm-hmm. Well, soon to be boyfriend, then my fiance, and then my husband. <laughs> I got it all worked out. Sounds like it. Does he live nearby? Oh, I hope so. I'm here to find him. Why don't you call him? 
Oh, well, I wanted to surprise him. He doesn't know I'm here in town. And I don't actually have his number. Or know where he is. But that's okay. As soon as I find my bearings, I'll begin my mission. Tracking down Nick Milano. So, where do you live, Alex? In a small place in town. Very small, but uh, my parents have a nice farm near La Fatorita. They grow on tomatoes and... Uh, oh, Roma tomatoes. I eat those. No, no. Roma tomatoes are actually growing more um, in the United States, Mexico and Australia. We have a different kind of tomatoes, very special. Where are we going? Uh, I have a friend who owns a cafe. There's a room upstairs. Hold up, I'm not checking with some random Italian guy that I don't know. Unless his name is Nick Milano. <laughs> Don't worry, my friend is not Italian or a guy. Grazie tesoro. So Emma, this is my friend uh, Diana Jensen. And uh, Diana, this is Emma... Thorndike. Yes, exactly, uh, from California. Right, it's the young lady that lost her luggage. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I didn't lose it. They did. Oh, yeah, you know, the same thing actually happened to me 10 years ago. And you're still here waiting for it? No, they, they found it. They found it. I just stayed for other reasons, right. and I opened up this cafe. So, um, Alex here tells me that you're strapped for cash? Oh, well, only until they find my suitcase. Well, I, I actually have a spare bedroom above the cafe. You know, food and rent are not for free, so are you willing to do a little bit of work? Work. You mean as in, like, work? Oh, yeah, just standard definition of work. What, what kind of work? Uh, you you want to guess? <laughs> Oh, this is like a coffee shop, right? Uh, yep. Coffee shop. So, cleaning and let's see, serving customers. You are going to get the hang of it. You are. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm an independent woman, so I can do it. Find my suitcase fast. Yes, I will let you know as soon as we have located it. I gotta go now. Grazie per il caffè. Napoli. Ciao. Emma. Oh. Good luck. One. Well, why don't I um, show you to the room and get you all set up? Um, all my clothes are in my missing suitcase. Yeah, I figured as much. I think I got you covered. Come on. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Where did she go? I don't know, Mr. Thorndike. She just said she needed to get away for a while. She wants to become a little bit more self-sufficient. <laughs> I'm all for that. But to leave without saying goodbye? What the heck? Does she hate me that much? No. Emma loves you. I know she does. She just needs to find herself. I'm sure she's fine, and she's a lot more resourceful than you think, and I bet wherever she is, she's got everything under control. <laughs> Mm -mm. I can't go out like this. I look like a street urchin. <laughs> you look like a girl that works in my cafe, which is exactly what you are. So what part of California did you just say you were from? I live in LA. Well, why don't you try to get some rest? I will see you downstairs bright and early in the morning, 7 a.m. sharp. Now pay attention. Well, first, there is café. Café literally does translate to coffee. A café is also a shot of espresso. It's served in a tiny hot cup, and customers drink them all day long. <sighs> café correcto, which is a shot of espresso, corrected with a shot of liquor. The most common additions are grappa, sambuca, or cognac. 
cappuccino, which is probably Italy's most famous coffee. Mm. Cafe latte. Well, it's basically an American latte. One third espresso, two thirds heated milk, and a little bit of foam. Marocchino is a shot of espresso, layer of foam, and a sprinkle of cocoa powder in a glass mug that's also been dusted with cocoa powder. Macchiato. Shakerato. Cafe al ginseng. Cafe d'orzo. It's her again. How do you know that? Because the phone's ringing. Pronto? Emma. Your suitcase did get on a plane, but it was the wrong plane. We're thinking Japan. Yes, once I get confirmation, it's there, I'll immediately get it on the next plane, out to Rome. I promise. Pronto? Emma? Hello? Bad connection. Mm, sure. I told you not to get involved. Russell, this is our job. We are responsible. You like her, don't you? Are you crazy? I just feel sorry for her. She has no family, she's alone. No money. Mm. Sounds like your type. You know nothing about my type. And she told me she's in love with another guy. Sounds like exactly your type. Stupid. You're stupid. And you know that. Relax. You're gonna do just fine. Okay, look, there's a customer. Uh, how can I help you? Cigarato, per favore. Uno. Does that mean small? No, she just wants a cup of iced coffee. Remember, this is not Starbucks. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Scusa, Nova. Americana. Ha, capisco. Um, what just happened? What did you make him? Um, he ordered a Cafe Coretto, so I made it an espresso with a shot of cognac, some buca, grappa, and some Irish cream, just like you said. Oh. <sighs> okay, Emma, that was or, uh, and. Oh, yeah. Uh, look, see, my customers, they come in here for just a little pick-me-up, not to become alcoholics. Yeah, I'm sorry, Miss Jensen, but, you know, I've never had to serve anybody before. Yeah, um, what, what exactly did you do for money back in America? Oh, I just got it and spent it. <laughs> what, did you have like a sugar daddy or something? I don't know, I had a daddy, but he wasn't always so sweet. Oh, you poor girl. Um, look, why don't you go in the back and just sweep? Can, can you do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, no? yeah. Finally, I was starting to get concerned, and your father's already worried. Oh, I know. He's been calling and leaving messages, but I haven't responded. Okay, but are you okay? And how's Rome? Uh, I'm 
Everyone's surviving. But they've got me working in a coffee shop. What? Hmm. It's a long story. Okay, so can you tell me everything? Well, you know what? I actually feel like Cinderella, but during the bad part of her story. You know when, like, they make her clean and, like, work and stuff? Oh. Like, that's me. Honestly. No, I'm not lying. I'm cleaning right now. You'll be okay. <laughs> oh, you know you owe me big time for this favor. Mm, it's not working out, eh? Look, she's, she's really sweet, but she doesn't have a clue. Look, I, I put her in the back so she could just clean up. Or not. I'm really sorry, Diane, but I didn't know where else to take her. I just felt bad for her. I know, honey. Listen, I, I, I do too. I think she's actually escaping an abusive relationship back in the States. No. Yeah. So, I mean, I obviously, I want to help her, but... I want to keep my business open, too. Come on, she's, she's got to know somebody else here. Yeah, she told me she was looking for a guy okay. named, uh, what deal? Nick something, uh, Nick Milano. Milano? Yes. Milano, why does that sound so familiar? He's Milano. a tennis player. Uh, yes, I think, I never heard about him. But she said she has a plan to marry him. But she might be a little, you know, delusional. Mm -hmm. You sure do know how to pick him. Those glasses were piled up way too high. They almost killed me. You found it, my suitcase. Yes, uh, Russell located it in Japan, and it was shipped right up. Great, we'll be here tomorrow. Not quite. He's just making a little detour to Iceland first. Iceland? Yes. Uh, uh, there was a slight communication problem. You know, Italy, Iceland, it's understandable. That happens. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Yes, that is a great idea. Actually, look, I'm about to close up, so why don't the two of you go get a little dinner, huh? And I'll go reorganize what you just reorganized. Well, as long as you don't need me anymore, Miss Jensen. I, I don't need you, so go, have fun. Hmm? Where should we go? Out. I know a place. Great. Ciao. Ciao. Cafe? Oh, no, thank you. I do not want to see another coffee for as long as I live. Solo il conto, grazie. What kind of coffee is that? No, I just asked for the check. Oh. So I'm still a little bit confused about your Cinderella analogy. Right. Well, I was starting to freak out, so I called my friend Jenny from back home. She's also my assistant. You have an assistant? Oh, yeah, sure. I've got assistants, cooks, maids, drivers, you name it. I'm like rolling in dough, but not the type Miss Jensen uses to make your pastries. Grazie. Oh, my money's in my suitcase, but I'll pay you back. I promise. I believe you. So, mm -hmm. Cinderella. Right, okay, so I realized I was like her, but before she met her prince or her fairy godmother. Although you could be my fairy godmother now that I think about it. Nobody has ever called me dead before. Well, probably because you're a guy. No, actually, maybe Miss Jensen is my fairy godmother, and you're like one of the mice that transforms <laughs> into the horse. Oh no, no, no! You're you're the you're the dog that becomes the footman. That's you. Uh, you're too kind. Well, all I know is Nick is my prince, and we're gonna live happily ever after once I find him. Like in the fairy tale. Exactly. But first, I need to find the glass slipper, which in my case is my missing luggage. But if memory serves correctly, doesn't the prince find the sleeper and then he goes searching for uh, Cenerentola, Cinderella? This is a modern version. Cinderella just has to do a little bit more leg work this time around, which is fine. I'm up for it. That's okay. I got the leg, see? Whoops. Yes, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Well, I've got to be in shape if I want to be marrying Nick Milano, tennis player extraordinaire. Nick Milano? Oh, you've heard of him? See, si. everybody knows Nicky. I don't. You're not a woman. So do you know where I can find him? I believe Nicky's out of town for a few days. He went to Spain for the weekend. <laughs> so like Nick. Another tennis match, right? See, si. Nicky is always in demand. Yeah, he's a pro, I told you. 
I can wait for him to return. What are you doing for the weekend? I have to go help my parents at the farm. A farm? Like in the country? Yes, that's where they're usually located. Great, well, I might join you. No, no, I'm not, I'm not sure you would have uh, much fun. We are not nearly as well off as you. Oh, no, that's fine. I'm all about trying new things these days. Except bread. <laughs> so you had dinner with her. Did you make any moves? No, there were no moves made. Tell you what is so astonishing about Emma. She has nothing but a sense of entitlement. American. Yeah, she's living in a fantasy world. She thinks she's rich. Just never met anyone like her. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? All I know is once we get back her suitcase, she won't be my problem anymore. Pronto? That's right. Pink with kitties and flowers. That's great. It arrived on Iceland and is now on flight 1642 on his way to Istanbul. Istanbul. No, Rome, <laughs> Italy. It's supposed to be going to Rome, Italy. You know, big Colosseum. Are you kidding me? It's supposed to be going to Rome. <laughs> Stop laughing. The universe is out to get me. Istanbul. Oh, Alex, really, why are you doing this to me? Do you hate me? No, I'm, I'm not gonna tell her because I'm trying my best not to kill her. Yeah, that's all on you. Mm-hmm. Well, you're gonna have to do it. Good luck with that. Okay, uh, I gotta go. Ciao. Buongiorno. Well, good morning to you, too. Did you sleep well? Well, you know, the bed is a little harder than I'm used to, and the pillows are a bit fluffy. The blanket could definitely do with a good clean, but I'm not complaining. Sure. I mean, it sounded like you were, but I know. No, Miss Jensen, you've been so great to me. And you know what? I predict that I will not break one glass today. Although I don't think I'm going to be here for much longer because Alex assured me my suitcase will be here today. I got an idea. Why don't you take a few hours off and go find Nick? I'm sure he'd love to see you. I know, likewise. But I heard he's in Spain this weekend. Uh, okay, here. Right. You know, when I first came to Rome, it was because of a guy as well. But I wasn't chasing him. I was actually, I was running away from a really bad marriage. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, perhaps I'm getting this wrong, but I kind of feel like maybe you're running away from something too. Well, to be honest, you know, I haven't had a lot of luck with guys in the past. They think I'm spoiled. Oh, I think they're jerks. 99% of them are jerks. But, I mean, not all of them. Some of them are actually okay. Like Alex, most of the time. And Nick. You know, me and Nick are gonna be so happy together. Like, he's just not like the others, you know? Mm hmm We have such a strong connection. And we've got even more in common now. Oh, yeah? What's that? Well, get this. So he's a tennis player, right? Mm hmm So he serves balls for a living? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm now serving coffee. That's something, right? We're both servers. That is something. That is something. Should I go open the door for business? Be my guest. I already am. Prego! You wanted to see me, Mr. Thorndyke? Yeah, Jenny, I uh, just uh, printed out Emma's cell phone bill. Uh-huh. <laughs> so. According to this, uh, you are the very last person she called. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I assume you can tell me what she's doing in Rome. <laughs> Hi. Uh, right, so we've got the, the macchiato, uh, the Cafe Dorzo, Cafe Coretta, Cafe Doppio, Cappuccino, um, and Americano. Right, let's start that again. Um, the Macchiato. Right. 
So you get one of these. Um, yeah, just, just pick one. Um, Emma, Emma, I think I'm gonna be serving the coffees from now on. Oh, okay, should I make new ones? No. Clean? No. Um, uh, how about groceries? We need more groceries, wanna get them? Oh, shopping, sure. I'm really good at spending money in this Johnson Okay, here we go. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Scusate, in Nuova, Americano. Oh. Ah. Ah, uh, no, no, no touching. Oh, but how do I buy them? Okay. Oh, how much are these? Ah, uh, pesaro. Ah, okay. Uh, non io. Tu. He means you. Si. Oh. In Italy, we do ourselves. Grazie. Prego. I talked with Diana. She said she sent you here. Yeah. I mean, this shopping thing is so complicated over here. Can be that different from the States. I don't know. I've never been grocery shopping. Then how do you eat? With my mouth. Right. Oh, you have servants and uh, butlers back home. Exactly. Quiz say. Great. Fatto. This working thing takes work. <laughs> ah, I have some news about your luggage. It arrived. No, but we know exactly where it is. Alex, I can't live like this. I'm a girl, I've got needs. Oh my goodness, finally. Oh yes. You need all this? Oh, this is just a bare minimum. Besides, I have to look my best for when Nick returns from the tennis tournament in Spain. Nick? Nicky Milano. Oh, you've heard of him? Oh, see, si. Nicky is the best. Oh, the best tennis player, you mean? Yes, he gives great lessons. Is he back? Oh, I heard in a few days. Tell him that uh, Isabella and Sofia are ready for their next session. Isn't it nice that Nick is willing to share his knowledge to others? See, si, yes. This Nick seems like quite a player. That much? Oh, well, I guess the time has come. So this is the emergency? Well, obviously, otherwise I can't buy what I need. Uh, no good. Oh no, the card's fine. There's a $50,000 limit. Eh, uh, rejected. What did he say? Rejected. English. Rejected. Oh no, that has to be a mistake. Can you please try one more time? <clears throat> Jenny? No, it's your father. So, how's Europe? Hmm? Having fun? Any issues with your credit card? No. How could you, Dad? How could you? How could I? How could you? Chasing after a doggone tennis player all the way to Italy? I mean, you might as well have run off with one of those goats from the fundraiser. Oh, chi paga? Hey, chi paga? Pago io. Reject. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. Nick and I are in love. Uh, let me speak to him. Well, he's not here at the moment. He's in Spain. Emma. Please, come back. I'll, I'll handle your plane ticket. I do not want your money. I can take care of myself, Dad. Oh, yeah? Jenny tells me you're broke. You lost all your money. I'm fine. I'm working now. Working? Doing what? Goodbye, Father. She's never worked a day in her life. This, I gotta see.
Emma. Well, Alex, you shouldn't have. I know, but you said you needed the things. You're so sweet, Alex. I promise I'll pay you back. Right, once your ship comes in. Well, my suitcase, yeah. Who was on the phone? Oh, just a very bad man, but I don't want to talk about it. Did he hurt you? Well, yeah, you could say that he did. He has no respect for my dreams, my desires. He just thinks I'm a little foolish girl. Sounds like you're better off without it. Yeah, darn right. But now I'm all alone. You're not alone. I'm here, and so is Diana. Ah, if you want to tag along, I'm still heading up to my parents' farm near La Fatorieta. Oh yeah, I'd love to come. A peaceful weekend in the countryside, that's exactly what I need. Great, my parents will be thrilled. They love how scarce. Right. <laughs> uh, so you paid for her groceries and you're taking her to see your parents tomorrow? I already told you I don't like her. Oh no, you don't like this girl at all. Okay, okay, whatever you say. So, did you find the luggage? Yeah, uh, and I'll make sure it gets on the right flight here. Grazie. You don't worry about it, all right? Just have a fun time at the family farm. Everything here is under control. I can imagine. All right, see you, dude. You done? All fine and dandy, happy? Uh, what seems to be the problem? Okay, so tell me about your parents. I mean, why do they become farmers? Well, in Italy, most don't become farmers. We are kind of uh, born into it. It's a family generational things going back to my grandparents and their parents before them. You must have grown a lot of tomatoes throughout the centuries. I suppose we have. And then what led you to the lost and found farm? Got sick of the tomatoes? No, no, actually I still love them. It was purely, como se dice, financial reasons. Yeah, you know, the, the, the farm hasn't been going too well lately. And I needed to, to get, you know, another job. But it sucks to be poor, right? You tell me. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but cheer up, I mean, you guys can't be in too bad a shape. I mean, you live in Italy, look around. Most Americans can't even afford to visit Europe, let alone live here. I mean, the plane ticket alone. <laughs> Oh, Alessandro. Ciao, ragazzi. <laughs> Ciao. È la tua amica quella che si è persa? Lost and found friend, mamma. Oh, Il yeah. Il lost and found. I'm Emma. Hi, Emma. Martina. Hi. I'm Roberto. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Oh, you are thin as nail, my dear. Do you not eat? Oh, well, you know, I could do with some tomatoes. You came to the right place. Prego, amore. Ammazza che carina la tua amica. Sì, sì, carina, però un po' strana, forse un po' mattarella. <laughs> Americana. Even so, she's a bit different. She still believes in fairy tales. Always looking on the positive side despite the situation. And Diana believes she had a hard life. Doesn't have a penny to her name, but won't let it stop her. She should fit right in. Yeah, no, just be nice. Don't believe everything she says. Alex, if you like her, we like her. Mamma mia. Believe me. Che fatica. Here you are. Mmm. It's the best tomato sandwich I've ever tasted. Grazie. You know, I used to pick tomatoes in my garden with my mom when I was really young. Mm -hmm. She loved to grow things before she got sick. Careful, Emma, because my parents will put you to work, eh? Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I liked you from the first time I saw you. Mm -hmm. So, 
Would you like to see how the best tomato paste is made? Like it. I insist on it. Okay. Oh, sorry. You can do it. I look at you. <laughs> well, tomatoes are our business. We have, of course, uh, San Marzano, Pomodorino Vesuviano, Pisanello, Ciliegino di Pachino, Camone. We have a lot. Costruto Fiorentino. Costruto Fiorentino, it's a little bit dry. That's why usually we are using it for salads. Oh, okay. Yes, and, and in the winter, when it's too cold outside, we keep growing them in a greenhouse. Hmm. Oh, okay. You can do it. See? It's too hot. Mmm, it's good. Bueno. Mmm. Never stop, never stop. Till tomorrow, never stop, never stop. You know, you can pick some tomatoes while they're still green. Mm. It lets them continue to ripen and guarantees fresh ones. Yeah, I remember my mom always saying they should be smooth and shiny, right? That's right. Mm. See, I know a thing or two. Please? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> insieme cameriere 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 scusi cameriere 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 e mi emoziona tanto tornare indietro nel tempo scusi verso un mondo verso un'isola verso il mare e poi ho versato un po' di vino addosso a te e tu ti sei innamorata di me it should have a earthy sweet smell Oh, it's nice. Then you have to squeeze it mm -hmm. to test the firmness. Oh. <laughs> Oops. You have to be a little more gentle next time. You should really market these tomatoes. We do. This is our livelihood. No, I know, but I mean really market them so the whole world knows how delicious they are. Oh, no, thank you. I'm not really a fan of the bread over here. Try it with Martina's homemade tomato spread. Okay, if you insist. You know, we send our tomatoes out to all the markets and to wholesalers in jars, cans, boxes, and as jam. This is amazing. Balsamic tomato spread, my own secret recipe. You know, Diana's cafe could really use some of this. She's got bread and pastries, but it's not that good. This would make a huge improvement. And that restaurant that we were at the other night, mm -hmm. they could really use this stuff too. That's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. I could ask Diana if she's interested. Sure. I bet my father could sell this in the States. He's really successful in importing and exporting goods. That's where he made his millions. He just knows what makes money, you know? Well, we both do. He used to call me his little financial genius because I had great taste especially with things that taste great. We could really use someone like you. You know, it's been a hard year for us. The weather has been very hot in July and August. Oh, you need more greenhouses then to control the conditions, right? Hmm. Of course, more now. Yeah, well, a good investment is a good investment. That's what I always say. I never heard you say that. Well, because I only say it when I'm talking business mode. This is probably not an appropriate dinner conversation, but I'm telling you, you're onto something here. So, Emma, are you here, are you in Rome, for business? No. Pleasure. I'm in love. With Nick Milano. He's a professional tennis player. And we're going to get married. So, any further questions? Uh, cheers! Brindisi. Cheers! Cheers! Ciao. Non capisco. Sono ragazzi. Well, I had a great time. Good. 
Your parents started acting a little strange after dinner, though, don't you think? Yes. I think they thought that uh, we were dating. You and I? Yes, as in we. Oh. That's... That's silly, right? Right. Right. I'll let you know when your luggage arrives. Okay, thank you. I'm just doing my job. Alex, what's wrong? Nothing. Are you mad at me? Why should I be mad at you? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Listen, some of us have to live in the real world. We cannot afford to believe in fairy tales as you do. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying sometimes things don't work out as you plan, and the sleeper doesn't fit. That's mean. Yeah, well, the truth can hurt. Don't you know what? What do you know? You're just a... A dog? Say it. Or was it a mouse? A jerk. Okay, Cinderella. And I better leave you before my car turns into a, a pumpkin. But it already drives like one. It's balsamic tomato spread. Absolutely delicious. Put it on all your bread and pastries. All right, thank you. So, how was your weekend? Wonderful. Mm. And then horrible. Oh. What's wrong with men? That's a really long list. Why don't you ask me what's right with them? I mean, he was so sweet and nice the whole time, and then out of nowhere, it was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Alex, that doesn't sound like him. Well, I never want to see him for as long as I live. Well, I don't think you're going to have to because there is somebody waiting for you in your room. He arrived today. No. But he found out I was here and tracked me down? Pretty much. <laughs> oh, God, how do I look? Like you. <laughs> the slipper doesn't fit, huh? Well, I'll show him how perfect my feet are. What? No, just wish me luck. Good luck. You found me. Oh, you better believe I did. Daddy? Who were you expecting? Hmm? The fairy godmother? Hmm. You uh, don't look like a man that's in love. How many times do I have to tell you there is nothing going on between Emma and I? Niente. Zero. She's in her world and I'm in mine. If I could just get back her suitcase, she'd be out of my life for good. I mean, if uh, that's what you really want. That's exactly what I want. So, that is arrived? Almost. It can take so long to get here from Istanbul. Oh, look, it went through Uruguay, now it's going up through Africa. It's gonna take a couple of days. How is this possible? We have to be dealing with every incompetent baggage handler in existence. Pretty much. But uh, hey, it's probably gonna get here uh, by the time she has to head back. Ah, my God. That can come soon enough. So uh, tell me about your parents, how they go there. She drives everyone crazy. You think you know where you stand with her, and then she's off in another direction. No sense of reality or other people's feelings. Niente. For someone who uh, doesn't seem to care, you sure seem to care a lot about her. No, amigo mio, basta, finito, I'm done caring. Someone else turn now. No. Well, I guess it's uh, good that her father showed up looking for her. What? Her father. But she said she has no family. No, oh, she has a father, all right. And a mean one at that. He came in uh, looking for her this morning and um, I told her she was at Diana's cafe. Are you sure he was a real dad and not a sugar daddy? Oh, I'm sure. His name is Howard Thorndike. I looked him up this morning after he left the airport. He's a multimillionaire. Oh dear. Oh, mia. Then that fantasy world of hers. 
It's not a lie. Will you eat something other than the bread and whatever that stuff is? I'm not hungry. Come on, Emma. You're acting like a kid. Because you're treating me like one. Okay. When we get back to the States, everything will be better. Mm -mm. Oh, no. I'm not going back with you. Huh? Don't you at least want to see Jenny? I mean, she misses you. I never want to see that tattletale again. She didn't rat you out, okay? Let's be clear about that. I handle your cell phone bill, remember? Calls from Europe to America are readily apparent on the statement. Fine, I'll pay for my own cell bill then. I'm a working girl now. Look, I appreciate that you want to stand on your own two feet. It's actually about time. However, no daughter of mine is gonna waste away at a coffee shop, all right? I did not send you to the best schools for you to work at a menial job. Yeah, but when Nick and I get married, then I won't have to work here anymore. You know, I could start my own business. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Doing what? Oh, whatever I want. You know, I discovered this tomato farm just outside the city, and with the right management, it could be huge. <laughs> um, I already have ideas on how to help them expand their operations. <laughs> what in God's green earth do you know about tomatoes? Well, a lot, actually. That is a pomodoro bikino. It's probably come from the southeast coast of Sicily. And there's four varieties. Chilagino, Costaludo, Tondolicio, and Grappolo. Well, you got the lingo down. Who's been teaching you about tomatoes? Oh, just a guy I know. His parents are farmers. They've actually got this really neat place just near La Fabriata. It's really lovely. So Nick's folks grow tomatoes? No. Alex. Alex's parents. Who's Alex? A guy. A different guy. Well, how many guys are you seeing, Emma? Jenny told me that you were in love with this tennis player. Oh, I am. And I'm not leaving until I see him. Oh. Okay. So what's up? So I get notifications online for anything concerning Nick Milano, and it says here that he's back in town. Look, he's gonna be at the Sportsman's Lodge tomorrow. You, you know that's clear across town. Oh, great! Well, that's where I'll be then, with Nick. And you can't stop me. I better go prepare for my big day, okay? Good night. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I butted in. No, no, it doesn't matter. I mean, once her mind's set, there is no stopping her. Yeah, I know. She kind of reminds me of me at that age. Hmm. I just lost my ability to communicate with her. You know, if you just give her a little bit of time, I think she'll turn around. The food's good. Glad you like it. I was hungry. She's already gone. Yeah, she got up bright and early this morning. She jumped in a cab and she went to go surprise Nick at the Sportsman's Lodge. I suspected as much. Okay. Well, well, let me uh, let me get a pastry, and I need a cup of the strongest coffee you got. Coming right up. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Do you uh, mind if I? Join you? Well, sure. Please do. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you know, uh, when I first met Emma, um, I thought she was actually running away from a bad relationship. <laughs> I didn't realize that when she said, Daddy, she actually meant her real father. <laughs> <laughs> You've been very kind to her. And I owe you a debt of gratitude for taking her in, Miss Jensen. Diana. And Emma is... She's really a sweet girl, and she really means well. I could, I could see right away. Mm -hmm. She has a great heart. She always seems to give it to the worst man. Actually, that would be my ex-husband. He wins the worst man award, hands down. <laughs> you got any kids, Diana? No, I, I managed to avoid that mistake. Oh, not a fan of children. Oh, no, I, I love 
children, it was just my male counterpart. Yeah, it worked out for the best. Well, I got lucky there. I found the most amazing woman, but I lost her too soon. You know, it's kind of hard raising a daughter by yourself. Mm. When uh, Margaret got sick, Emma was only 12, mm. and then she passed. Uh, I like to think I've done my best. Thought I'd been a good dad. Mm. Yeah, I'm really sorry to hear that, Mr. Thorndike. Oh. Howard. Right. I'm gonna need another one of these. Coming right up. <laughs> Thank you. My love, you have found me. I have missed you so much. We should never be apart again. <gasps> Emma Thorndike, will you marry me? Yes! Yes! Yes? It's me, from California. Oh yes, of course, uh, Esther, right? No. Elizabeth? Emma. Emma Thorndike. Right. Yoga goats. Right, Emma and the goats. Uh, nice to see you again. I was just in the middle of giving uh, some personal lessons to a few of my favorite clients. Yes, wait your turn. Ladies, please give me a moment. But I flew all the way here to see you. I thought you were a professional tennis player. You competed at Wimbledon. You work in a country club? I said I've been to Wimbledon, never said I competed there. And why are all your clients women? They appreciate what I have to offer. You should have told me you were coming to Italia. I wanted to surprise you. Well, you have. Where are you staying? Perhaps we can get together later for drinks. Well, I was hoping to stay with you. With me? I, um... <clears throat> I do not think my wife would permit that. You're married? Oh, but you didn't tell me that. I also never told you I wasn't. I mean, you weren't wearing a wedding ring. You're not what, you're not wearing one now. Well, you know, it's uh, better for business if I don't. Women like to create these little fantasies in their minds about the tennis instructor and the student. Would you like me to give you a lesson while you're in town? I've learned enough. Oh. Grazie, arrivederci. One pink suitcase for uh, Miss Emma Thorndike. Finalmente, that's it, it's here. Ah, it is. I need you to sign here. Yeah. Finally. It'd help if you didn't keep changing destinations. We always wanted it here, in Rome, Italia. Well. We had requests to ship this suitcase to Iceland, Turkey, Uruguay, and then South Africa. Requests? From who? One... Russell Russo. Thanks, guys. What is he talking about? Um, look, it's not like a little practical joke. A joke? Yeah. Uh, first the airline screwed up and sent it over to Japan, and then I saw you getting involved with her and you, you know, finding her a place to live and getting her food, and I thought it'd be funny if the bag took a bigger detour, you know? You used the word funny. I, I, I thought it was funny, but then my motivations changed when I saw that you started, uh, you know, liking her. You took her to your parents' farm, uh, you took her out to dinner, and you guys, you know, you guys seem to like each other. So, you know, think of me as a uh, mischievous Cupid. You know? Cupid. Love. You got five seconds, and I'm going to kill you. 
I'm taking my lunch break. Russell, apri la porta. Open the door. I'm not doing anything. Look. Apri la porta. Russell, apri la porta. Apri la porta. Did Emma have you tried this spread last night? Okay, you should. Really, this came from Alex's tomato farm. Uh huh. Hey. Not bad. Mm. Zesty, mm -hmm. but sweet. Emma may be onto something. We could generate a demand for this back in the US. Yeah, nope. kind of unique. What? What? Oh, you're back so soon. Did you find Nick? I did. And how'd it go? Nick is not who I thought he would be. Things between us are over. You know, I'm mature enough to admit when I'm wrong, and I was wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm moving on. Does that mean you're going to be leaving us? I ain't coming back with me. Oh, no, no. I'm going to stay here in Rome, and I'm ready to work. You know, I even learned how to say, nice to meet you in Italian. Tacci <laughs> tu. Uh, say what? Dad, you were right. I mean, I've been acting like a child the whole time. It's about time I grow up. Great. And, you know, I can't do that while living with you in California. I have to stand on my own two feet. Starting here and now. Well, I mean, it doesn't need to be like here. <laughs> it doesn't need to be right now. Well, no, yes, it does. And you know what? I'm ready to work like everyone else. And I'm determined to be the best coffee maker you've ever had, Miss Jensen. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> yeah, look, Emma, I really appreciate the uh, fresh attitude. And uh, that's a fact that you, but you don't need to start your new life waiting on people. No, I do. I have to build myself up from the bottom. It's the only way I can be totally independent. Okay. Miss Emma Thorndike, on behalf of the lost and found department at Roma Airport, I wish to present your missing luggage. You can throw it out, I don't need it anymore. What? I'm starting fresh. No material things. Fine, it's your bag, do with it what you will, my hands are clean. Oh, wait. Here, take this. Here, take it. Emma, that is way too big. No, Dad, it's just stay out of it, please. I told you I'd pay you back. I don't need your money. I don't need anything from you. Can you? Yep, what? OK. What is your problem? No more problems. I did my duty. You've got your suitcase, your money, your father, and I'm sure you will connect with your tennis player and live happily ever after. Well, Mr. Smart Guy, I'll have you know that my plans have changed. But even if they hadn't, why does my happiness make you so angry? I'm not angry. I'm, I'm just disappointed. About what? I thought you were Cinderella. No, I thought I was Cinderella. You thought I was nuts. Not nuts. I just believed you were this poor, lost girl alone and in need of assistance. And I just tried to help. And you did. I just wanted to say thank you. I don't need your charity. But it's not charity, it's reimbursement. For dinner, groceries, gas money. I have to go. You have your life and I have mine. What is that supposed to mean? Emma, listen to me very carefully. We come from two different worlds. and I just don't feed into yours. So, was that Alex? Another jerk? No, he was great. I blew it. I think I'm ready to go home now. Good. I can get us on a flight first thing tomorrow. Okay. Hey, but before we go, I want to discuss this tomato business of yours some more. No, forget it. It was just a silly idea. No, no, it wasn't a silly idea. I just tried to spread it. It's got real potential. You really think so? 
You're not just saying it because it's me? No. You know me. When it comes to investments, I put personal matters aside, and this is a good one. My little financial genius. Don't try to cheer me up. <laughs> it's a father's duty. Yes. Ehi, che faccia hai, figlio mio? Che succede? So, I decided to quit my job at the airport. I think I'd be more useful here with you full time. I can get rid of my place in town, save money there and... Questo. Dove è Emma? Yes. Where is Emma? I found her suitcase and she's fending for herself now. It's uh, over. <laughs> but she liked you, Alex. A lot. Yes, and you liked her. Don't deny it. We saw you two together. I don't want to talk about Emma anymore. She was not who I thought she was. How so? I thought she was poor. Turns out she's rich. <laughs> and you're going to hold that against her? She didn't lie to you. Remember? She told us she was wealthy. I know, but I didn't believe her. And you're mad because she told you the truth. She, she also said that she felt like Cinderella. Huh. So what's wrong with that, Alex? Most women want to be Cinderella. Mm -hmm. Yes, but Cinderella was poor, beaten down. She wasn't a wealthy, upper-class citizen. See. Si. She was, in the beginning, Cinderella was just Ella, the daughter of a very wealthy family. Then her father remarried, but when he died, her stepmother and her sisters took over the estate and turned Ella to a Cinderella to be their servant girl. Are you sure the story was like that? Then the fairy godmother comes, uh, grants the wishes, uh, she goes to the ball, meets the prince. See, Papa, I know the rest of the story, but I'm no prince. You are prince, as far we are concerned. And if she is smart, she'll see that too. I'm going to bed. Good night. And if you're smart, you'll make her see it. Yep, we'll get all the details worked out when I'm back in California. Yep, Just get contracts drawn up immediately. Huh? Yep, I am looking forward to partnering with you as well, Roberto. Ciao. Yeah, have a nice day, sir. And make sure to try the tomato spread. It is so delicious. Emma, we got like 10 minutes max if we're gonna make that flight. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm already packed. I just need like one more maracchino. She's really got the hang of this. Talented girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've always known that. I can't believe I am gonna say this, but I think I'm actually gonna miss her. Oh, guess what? I think I'm gonna miss you. Oh. Yeah, you're really the first woman I've been able to talk to in a long, long time. You know, Howard, I feel the same about you. I mean, you've actually restored my faith in men. Well, that's good. <laughs> I hope we can get together again sometime soon. Well, you know where to find me. I do. And believe me, I'll be back for business. And pleasure too. Well, I look forward to that. Don't work too hard. Hey, time's a wasting, young lady. What? 
are you both smiling about? Your father just got off the phone with Mr. Thorndike. Your girlfriend came through with all of her promises. She talked to her father about our tomatoes and Martina spread. And he wants to partner with us. You know, she's willing to make a big investment. We are back in business. Yes. That's great, but as I told you, Emma's not my girlfriend, so. Well, I guess that's for the best, since she's leaving Italy at 11.45 on flight 490 uh, with her father. Uh, they're going back to America. Uh, and what about Nick Milano, that guy she was in love with? I guess he lost that much. Yeah. Her father said that she had fallen for someone, but uh, then he rejected her. Who could be so foolish? She's so great. She's so smart. She's so young. She's so pretty. She's... I gotta go. Yes, you do. Go get her, son. Run. Alex, run. Thank you. And can you check if Alex Malvesi is working here today? Malvesi. I'd like to say goodbye. Sure. He's not here. His name is not listed in the director either. I believe he no longer works here. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, I'm sure I can get us on a later flight. No, 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 no. Let's just get on the plane. You got it. Okay. Here you are. Now look, with the luggage, please make doubly certain it gets on the right plane. We had an issue coming out. All right, good. And there's the gate on there? Good. Yep. We go to the lounge? Good. Have Thank a nice you. Day. Dai, spostati! Faccio tardi! Eh, ma ti prego, aspettami che sono. Oh. Yeah. Russell, I need two favors from you. Right now, you owe me. Make it happen. Sure, yeah. Go. Attenzione, attenzione. We'll miss Emma Thorndike. Please make your way to the lost and found desk. There is a lost item that needs immediate identification. What? <laughs> you gotta be Excuse kidding me. me. What, again? A young man has misplaced his heart and believes that Emma Thorndike is currently in possession of it. We have it on good authority that Miss Thorndike may have indeed stolen his heart. Come on! Not that he needs his back. He just wants to make sure he lost it. Come back to the lost and found. You stole my heart. Safe and sound. Because you... Because you love her. You know you could have just called me directly. You've got my number. Yes, but where's the fun in that? I've behaved like an idiot. So it takes... An idiotic gesture like this, to love fully. Set things right. Don't you know being in love means you never have to say you're an idiot? So you've got a point. I'm really sorry. It took me so long to come to my senses. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. And you're right, I was caught up in a fairy tale. And I couldn't see that Mr. Wright was in front of me the whole time. Speaking of fairy tales, there is one last thing. You left this behind when you said my parent's house. Did I really? No. I actually had Russell grab your suitcase from the plane and pull it out. Wow, 
how fitting. I was lost until I found. And we found each other. I don't know how to thank you enough, Howard. Thank you. Lord. He's cute. I'm going to have a wedding with him. My best worst man here, Russell. Wanted to meet your friend. Oh, this is Jenny. Jenny's in PR. Hello. Hello, Jenny. So, um, are all your relationships uh, public, or do you do some private ones as well? Uh, well, that depends on the clientele. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're practically family now. Then perhaps there's going to be a wedding very soon. Or two. Oh, um, we're just taking it one day at a time. Yeah, but uh, taking a place around the corner from the Ristoretto y Corretto is a pretty big first step. No regrets? Oh, no. <laughs> Very sweet. So what do you do, Russell? Oh, I'm like the Wizard of Italy. I'll make your dreams come true. Oh, tell me more. Oh, I love you, Mr. Malbes. And I love you, Miss Thorndike, soon to be Mrs. Thorndike-Malbesi, <laughs> or Malbesi-Thorndike. Or should I take your last name? We'll figure it out. Yes. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Salute! Verso il mare e poi ho versato un po' di vino addosso a te e tu ti sei innamorata di me che ti abbracciavo e ti baciavo all'improvviso e la gente non capiva mai perché una così bella potesse stare con il cameriere, cameriere, cameriere scusi quando parlavo troppo il cliente non tornava più se oggi parlo troppo non mi invitano in tv Quando rompevo un bicchiere tutti si giravano ma poi sorridevano Se adesso prendo una stecca presa ma me la perdonano Il cameriere è psicologo, attore è anche uno che capisce le persone E la mancia è un applauso a metà canzone La scaletta era al menù, il fonico, il cuoco, il bis, un cliente ritornato Io col vassoio in mano ero come a teatro Lo sento ancora quando mi chiamavano tutti insieme Cameriere, cameriere, cameriere Scusi Cameriere, cameriere, cameriere E mi emoziona tanto Tornare indietro nel tempo Scusi Verso un mondo, verso un'isola, verso il mare E poi ho versato un po' di vino addosso a te E tu ti sei innamorata di me che ti abbracciavo e ti baciavo all'improvviso e la gente non capiva mai perché una così bella potesse stare con il cameriere, cameriere scusi, è tutta la canzone che la chiamo, il conto 